Hi, my name is Greg, and in front of me today is an ASUS RTX 3080. This card was sent in to me by a customer who reached out via my electronics repair business, gfxrepair.com. When plugging in this card and booting into Windows, the power source input voltage reported by the card is 4,295 volts, and the GPU is stuck at 210 megahertz. On some 20 and 30 series cards, there's a small microchip responsible for monitoring 12 volt power input and current draw. This chip is a bit infamous for failing from time to time and then misreporting voltages and causing video cards to go into a sort of safe mode and clamp the core frequency to a safe value, the idle frequency. In this case, 210 megahertz. The chip in question is the NCP45491. In the GPU repair space, this problem of cards reporting a ludicrous amount of voltage is well known, and typically happens on cards with the on-semiconductor NCP45491 chip. In most of these cases, the problem ends up being that the silicon inside the NCP power monitoring chip simply started malfunctioning and reporting false information to the video card. To repair this card, we're simply going to replace the offending NCP45491 chip with a brand new one. After that is done, we reassemble the card, power it on, and load some benchmark applications. As you can see, the GPU core is no longer stuck at 210 MHz. Our 3D applications run without issue, and as you may have noticed, the power monitoring for this card shows a normal 12 volt on the input. Replacing the NCP45491 chip has restored the full GPU range of frequency, marking this repair as a success.